Hi, and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that we link with a summer transfer move to Arsenal. We're nearly there. Tomorrow, the transfer window closes. 11 p.m., 1st of September. That is it. That is your business done until January. That is your most important business of the year done. That is basically your team in place for the 2022-23 season. Will Arsenal get any more business done? Yesterday, the best laid plans that Arsenal have been putting in place throughout this transfer window, and I've been commending them because it's been excellent and so well structured and so well organised. And you can see they've been working to a real plan put into complete disarray with news of the injuries. First of all, to Mohamed El Nenny. Um, that was out of the blue. Remember, he played at the weekend, looked okay, um, suffered an injury which looks set to keep him out for quite a number of weeks. And then also, um, Mikel Arteta was speaking about, or he was asked about in his press conference about Thomas Partey, how long will he be out? And then that ominous words, well, he's got to have a scan, we'll see. Um, that doesn't sound good either. Looks like Partey is going to be out again. 58% um, of playing time. That's all he's had since he's been at Arsenal. He's literally spent half of his time at Arsenal injured. And it's just been a real nightmare situation. He started the season so well and is such an important player for us. So all of a sudden now, Arsenal have been rushed into trying to find a defensive midfielder. Now, I remember this is the only thing I'll put on Arsenal and our transfer business. I said right at the start of the window, I felt somebody like a Basuma was a no-brainer. And we didn't get it done. And now it's that position coming back to haunt us. Listen, we knew that at some stage there was going to be an injury to Partey based off of what's happened before. Probably we didn't have predict the El Nenny one. So now Arsenal forced into trying to find a defensive midfielder. Yesterday, in a bit of desperation, first of all, they tried to see if they could hijack, hijack the deal for Idrissa Gay. Um, he is leaving PSG. We know that. Um, on his way to Everton, Arsenal tried to jump in, see if they could hijack the deal to bring in the defensive midfielder. Um, but Idrissa Gay turned around to Arsenal and said, no, listen, I've given Everton my word already. I'm joining Everton. Remember, he used to play for Everton before that, and that one fell through. They then tried to hijack a deal for Leandro Paredes. Um, Paredes, the Argentinian, very talented player who plays for PSG, uh, surplus requirements from PSG. Now, for a number of weeks, he's been negotiating a deal um, to go to join Juventus. He's had his heart set on Juventus. Um, and even though, apparently, PSG were willing and would rather deal with Arsenal to get a deal done, um, Paredes was, again, adamant that he wants to join Juventus. That You know, they've been negotiating for weeks. And Arsenal lost out on that deal as well for Paredes. So they're there straight away. Two defensive midfielders that Arsenal tried to move for. Um, and both of them not materialising because they're too far down the line with the clubs that they're going to. This is the problem that Arsenal have got now with just a day to go. They also put in a bid reportedly yesterday for this guy, Danilo. They've been interested in him before. The 21-year-old Palmeiras defensive midfielder. Really exciting player, even though he's 22, so experienced already, played a lot of games for Palmeiras. Um, now, according to goal, Arsenal put in a bid of around about £20 million for Danilo. Um, you can see there the valuation is around about £22.5 million. He actually has a, a release clause in his contract of um, a reported £86 million. Now... <laughs> No way they're going to get that, but they're probably wanting to push up the valuation and get a higher valuation. There's also the fact that, you know, he's a very important player at Palmeiras. Will they want to let him go at this late stage? I mean, this is a player that Arsenal have shown interest in um, before. Um, even in the January transfer window, there were rumours of uh, Danilo. They've gone back in for him. Could something materialise in the next day or so to get a deal like this done? It's going to be really, really tricky because there's not a lot of time left. And as I said, he's a very important player. Plus, 
what sort of price will Palmeiras be looking for? Certainly, they're not going to take 20 million for him. They're going to want more money than that. It's the opening bid. Um, I've never known a Brazilian club to take the opening bid. So it's the opening bid. Let's see how that one materialised. Could Arsenal bring in Danilo before the end of the transfer window, which of course is 11 o'clock tomorrow? Yes, of course, he's over there in Brazil, but we've done lots of um, deals with Brazilian players. Edu's at the helm, remember. So let's see if anything can happen on that. Now, Yuri Tielemann seems the obvious one to go and get right now. And there was this rumour yesterday of um, a £19 million mystery bid being made um, for Yuri Tielemans. Now, the club that made the bid, that's not been revealed. But, of course, obviously, there's lots of rumours saying it's Arsenal. There was also, um, which was really, really interesting to see, um, Jurgen Klopp coming out yesterday and saying, listen, we made a bid for... Um, or we, he didn't say bid, we made inquiries over um, a midfielder that we wanted and the, he told us that he's already moving to another club. Now, was that Yuri Tielemans? And as a, was that Yuri Tielemans saying to Klopp, listen, thank you, but I'm moving to Arsenal. I've already agreed it. Again, this one, it's been rumbling on all summer, all since the day the transfer window opened until probably 11 o'clock tomorrow. This, well, actually, I think before that, remember as I said yesterday, Leicester play tomorrow. If he's in that team for tomorrow, I think you can safely say that um, he's not going to be coming to Arsenal. But it rumbles on, will Arsenal make a move for Yuri Tielemans or are they going to shelve it? Are they going to look at, say, right, let's just try and get an out-and-out defensive midfielder. We'll go back in for him in January or maybe next year, get him on a free transfer. Arsenal have been known to do that, to be waiting out, you know, patiently for certain players. But very interesting, this. And also, as I said, with the fact that, you know, now what we've seen what's happened to Thomas Partey and the fact that, um, you know, you know, Mohamed Elneny is going to be out for such a long time now as well. Does it just make it the obvious move to make? And that is to try and move for Yuri Tielemans. Again, we will find out. Um, one day to go before it all is revealed. Now, another player that Arsenal apparently been looking at, and I've been looking at this guy um, since early in the window, is Yao Pedro of um, Watford. We know that Arsenal are after a winger, and uh, Yao Pedro is um, on their radar. There's been a lot of clubs interested in him. There was a, a lot of talk saying that he was going to be heading to Newcastle. There was even talk that um, a £30 million bid for him had been accepted by Watford for Yao Pedro, um, but that didn't materialise. And now that Newcastle have gone and, you know, they've gone big and uh, bought in a striker, which they paid £60 million for in Isaac, maybe they've gone cold on the Pedro one. Everton are said to be very interested as well in signing Yao Pedro and said to be trying to negotiate a deal. And also Arsenal said to be speaking to his representatives. They're very interested in him. He started the season very well for Watford, a very talented player um, indeed. And we know that Arsenal are looking for a winger. He can play winger. He can sort of play anywhere across that front three and is a player that can get better and better and still only 20 years old. So um, let's see what happens with Yao Pedro. Of course, played in the Premier League last year um, for Watford when he was just emerging or is it going to be this guy? There's been a lot of talk about Mikhailo Mudrik of the Ukraine. Um, still only 21. There's lots of talk that Arsenal are going to make a bid for him. Now, the problem is Shakhtar Donetsk are looking for about 30 million euros for him. Arsenal do not want to overpay for him or any player. Um, you know, that's been their policy throughout this transfer window. But he's still getting heavily linked with a move to Arsenal. Could this be the move for the winger um, that Arsenal make between now and tomorrow? Um, no real news on, a, say, a Pedro Neto. That's gone very quiet. Um, as we know, you know, I mean, the price there is is a lot of money. They want about £50 million pounds plus um, for Pedro Neto. So that's starting to cool a bit um, by the looks of it. But who knows what might happen last minute with Arsenal, what Edu is cooking up. And also on a good news front, um, it looks like a Bakaya Saka 
um, is going to be signing a new contract at Arsenal. Um, that's said to be all but done. Saka literally coming out yesterday and saying, listen, I'm on the same page as Mikel Arteta, um, you know, and he loves the club. He loves the fans. He feels connected. New deal incoming there for Saka. That's great news. Also said to be new deals in the pipeline um, that could be announced as well for Martinelli and also for William Saliba. And that's great news indeed, tying down these great young talents that Arsenal have. Those These guys are the future of Arsenal Football Club. So that's very, very good to see. So listen, it's going to be busy. It's going to be busy here um, at Arsenal. Um, we're going to keep you up to date with all of it here on AF2V Transfer Daily. So make sure you keep it locked. Updates um, with anything that breaks. Um, and then tomorrow, throughout the day, updates um, all throughout the day on any news to do with any transfers. But I get the feeling it could be a busy last couple of days here um, at Arsenal, especially with those uh, news of those two injuries to two vital players. Thanks for watching the show. And I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe here so you get your notifications and don't miss out on a thing. See you later.